Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gregorius Maths video. Today we'll be doing the Baus integral, which is the integral between 0 and infinity of x over e to the x minus 1 dx. And to do this, we're going to take a detour and look at the gamma and the zeta function, both of which I've introduced in different videos respectively. So let's start off by looking at gamma of x. Gamma of x equals the integral between 0 and infinity of t to the power of x minus 1 times e to the negative t dt. And you'll know from my previous video that gamma of x is just x minus 1 factorial. Okay, so now, using a u substitution, well, I mean, a, yeah, kind of a u substitution, let t equal to n times u, for n an element of the natural numbers. Yeah, natural numbers. So, dt equals n du. Okay, so now gamma of x equals the integral between, well, if we plug in uh, u equals 0 here, well, any number times 0 is just 0, so u equals 0, 2, well, any number times infinity is also just infinity. So the bounds stay the same of n u to the power of x minus 1 times e to the negative n u times n du so now yeah gamma of x equals the integral between zero and infinity of okay so if we look at this expression here n u to the power of x minus one equals n to the power of x minus one times u to the power of x minus 1, correct? But now that we've got the n to the power of 1 over here, uh, if we do this times n to the power of 1, well, if we combine these two, n to the power of x minus 1 times n to the power of 1, well, if we add the exponents, that and that will cancel, leaving us with n to the power of x. So, so, this equals that and that combined make n to the power of x. Because it's with respect to u, this whole integral, we can bring that to the front. Times u to the power of x minus 1 times e to the negative n u du. And now dividing both sides by 1 over n to the x leaves us with gamma of x. gamma of x and dividing by n to the power of x is the same as multiplying by 1 over n to the power of x and because I already said we'll be using the zeta function later on this should start to look a bit familiar equals well that will just go away when we divide by n to the power of x so the integral between 0 and infinity of u to the power of x minus 1 times e to the negative and u du and now we'll take the sum from n equals 1 to infinity so the sum actually no because gamma over x is kind of just like a constant we can we can basically bring this out to the front of the sum so gamma of x times the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the x equals, because I'm a part of the flamily, I will interchange the summation and the integral without any restrictions. So this is equal to the integral between 0 and infinity of u to the x minus 1 times the sum from n equals 1 to infinity 
of e times, I mean e to the power of n, uh, sorry, e to the negative u to the power of n. Why did I write it like this? Because now, to uh, you. Why did I write it like this? Because this infinite geometric series. Okay? So, what's our common ratio R? Well, our common ratio R is 1 over e to the u. Is this a good common ratio? Well, yes, this is a good common ratio because it's less than 1 for u less than, z I mean, greater than 0. Okay? Which means that R will be less than 1, which is good. So now, this integral here, so this equals the integral between 0 and infinity of u to the x minus 1 times, using the infinite geometric series formula, we do the first term, which is e to the negative u, over... 1 minus r, which is e to the negative u, du. And multiplying the top and bottom by e to the u, e to the u, du. Just to get rid of these negative exponents, this leaves us with The integral between 0 and infinity of u to the x minus 1 times, well, these two powers will just cancel to make 1. So actually, because there's a 1 on the numerator, I'll just bring this u to, to the power of x minus 1 to the top. So u to the x minus 1 over e to the u times 1 is e to the u. And again, these negative and positive exponents will cancel leaving us with minus 1. And now, if you trace back, hopefully you'll see why we took this detail, which means gamma of x, and actually we'll write it like the, with s instead of x, because we normally see zeta of s, not zeta of x. So gamma of s times zeta, very tough letter to draw, zeta of s, equals, because this is just zeta of s, hopefully you remember that, equals the integral between 0 and infinity of u to the s minus 1, all divided by e to the u minus 1, which is very, very close to what uh, du, du, which is very close to what we want, because this is just x to the power of 1. So, to solve for this integral here, this equals, well, okay. The, okay, so let's just solve this. s minus 1 equals 2. I mean, equals 1, sorry. Equals 1, because this is the same as x to the power of 1. Well, adding 1 on both sides leaves us with s equals 2. Okay? So, this equals gamma of 2 times zeta of 2. And of course, gamma of 2 is just 2 minus 1, which is 1, factorial. So this equals 1 times, and zeta of 2, I've done a whole video on this, called the Basel problem. This actually evaluates to pi squared over 6. So this equals pi squared over over 6. Oops. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay, you get the point. And now, look, with this, with this, 
done this integral like a boss. Uh, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry for no upload yesterday. I was at a chess tournament. Anyway, uh, sorry for no upload yesterday. I was at a chess tournament. Um, hopefully this one makes up for that. Uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.